Hello, this is Sarah Craighead Dedman. I'm the editor of the Machias Valley News Observer. And it is uh, Wednesday, June 9th, and we had such a storm here last night. I'm at Jasper Beach right now. Um, I was actually headed to Starboard in Machias Port down to visit Starboard Farm, which has a really charming farm stand. But I can't get there because there are giant dump trucks full of dirt rebuilding massive washouts. Uh, two washouts have also pinned Rogue Bluff residents in place for the moment. There's another massive washout in West Kennebec. Channel 5 reported that we got five, six inches of rain in two hours. And I'll tell you what, we were all up listening to it. It was a stunning thunderstorm. And I've lived on the prairie. I think that one was bigger. Um, so I decided to come down to Jasper Beach because sometimes you get some pretty incredible washouts here. And I'll tell you what, look, the last time we saw something like this was Hurricane Arthur and it completely cut through. This was not here last week. So um, you can see my children down by the saltwater pond. Yes, and you can see this incredible gully. It's really, it's really magnificent actually. Um, and, and it won't bother anybody, but um, you can see the wave action was tremendous. All the brown right there is supposed to be underwater. That's all the mud from the lake. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's my son Griffin. So anyway, um, make sure you're uh, careful. Stay away from edges of the road. You'll see orange cones in the area because the sides of the roads are washing out even where the roads have not washed out. The state is offering assistance and they're sending in helicopters and boats to bring things to people who are stranded. On the other side, there's something giant and black down there that washed up. I don't know what it is. It's so huge. Um, but it was thrown over this great berm here on Jasper. So this is Sarah Craighead-Dedman for the Machias Valley News at Jasper Beach in Machias Port.